Kipsters, and welcome to another day of writing with me, Miss Gardner. Now today, I'm really excited because we're going to get the chance to finish writing our stories that we started on earlier this week, or yesterday. So make sure that um, for today, you have the story that you started writing yesterday. If you haven't started writing one, that's okay too, because you can start a new one today. I'm going to start picking up from the story that I already um, started showing you guys yesterday. Um, and we talked all about how we can stretch out words to make our writing better. Today, of course, and every day when we write, we'll continue to do that. But our focus today is going to be on adding details to our illustration to make the story even better. Now, I went ahead and I finished adding some more details to my story and my picture from yesterday. And I have... Um, my second page started, but I know Kipster that we can add even more because if you remember from a video from last week We talked about being four four star writers And I showed you the different examples of how writing can get even better when you add more details for your reader So that's our goal for today What can I add to my picture to make it even better? And of course when you add more things to your picture when you think about hmm, what happened in my small moment What other details can I add? You can also do that with your words and add more words. But again, today our focus is just about adding more details to our illustration, which we know is the picture. So, when I pick up, as a writer, when I pick up a story that I already started, I need to make sure that I go back and I reread what I already have so I can remember what else I might want to add, especially if I'm thinking about making my writing even better. So, I'm going to look at the first page. I told you guys that I was writing a story about when I went for a walk the other day because it's getting boring in the house. So I decided to go for a walk and I wanted to write a story about that. So let's look at my page number one. I wrote that yesterday I went, let me read this way. Yesterday I wanted to go for a walk. I put on my shoes and I left out. So let's look at the details that I added. Because before, if you remember, I only had drawn a window and just a tree, the sun, and me. But then I thought, hmm, what other details could I add? Well, I remember in my front room, I have this painting on the wall, so I tried to add that. I, instead of just keeping the sun and tree black and white, I thought about the colors that the sun really is and the tree really is, and I changed that. I added my door with the door number on it. Um, and I remember, oh, I have this brown couch with an orange pillow, so I thought of all the different things I could add. I even thought about my shoes and how they're red, so I took my red and I colored them in. So you're going to think about all the things that are around you to make your drawing better. Um, so let's go to page number two and see what happened in the middle of my story. All right, Kester. So in the middle, it says, when I was walking, I saw a dog and I asked if I could pet it. So let's look really closely at Miss Gardner's illustration. I tried my best to do with the things that I remember. So I saw it was a tree outside. That was me. That was the person. We're six feet apart. <laughs> and there's the dog. Now, this is a pretty good illustration because I even added speech bubbles. If you look in the speech bubble, it tells you what we were saying. Let me bring it over. So I said, can I pet the dog? And then the person said, sure. So I added a lot of details. But, Kipsters, I think that I could even add more. So as a writer, when you're thinking about how you can add more, you got to think about all the things that are around you when your small moment happens. So of course we won't get everything, but we're just going to try our very best. That's what it's all about. So it was a sunny day, and that was the reason why I decided to go for a walk. So of course I can draw, if you guys can see that, of course I can draw the sun. So I'm going to take a, the yellow marker and draw the sun in the corner. And let me think. What are some other things that I remember being on my walk? Well, look, guys, I didn't even add those red shoes that I had in the other um, in the other picture. So I have to add my red shoes that I put on. So let me draw that really quickly. Oh, I remember there was some grass around the tree on the side. So I can draw some grass with my green marker. Hmm, what else do I remember? Oh, I remember there were some birds flying in the sky. So I'm going to grab a black because there were some black birds. And I'm going to quickly draw some birds flying. Okay. Now, of course, I can add even more, but I wanted to show you guys. At first, my picture was more of like a, I'll say like a level two. But now, it's not quite level four because I think I can add even more. So you think about, hmm, what can Miss Gardner add to make it even better? And that's what you should do to 
your writing today. So today is a lot of fun because you get to draw and add colors and details. Now the last thing I wanted to show you guys about adding details is, and some friends might remember this from when we were in the school building, we talk, we talk, we talk a lot about adding labels to our pictures. Now labels <coughs> help your reader because when they pick it up, your teacher or your mom or dad or anybody in your family that's reading, they might not know what something is in the story. That's one reason that we use labels to help our reader to know exactly what it is. Important things. So for example, in my picture, <coughs> I have grass, but that's not really important to my story. So instead of labeling that, I might label me or I might label the dog. So let's do that really quickly. Me is a sight word. I know it's spelled M-E, me. And I wrote that right next to it so my reader knows exactly who that person is. The dog. So let me see if I can label dog. D, 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 A, G, dog. Good. And of course, I could label even more things in my story. All right, kids, so let's move on to the last page. I wanted to show you guys the last page of the story that I wrote today. And this is what you guys are going to have to work on, the middle and the end, because we only work on the beginning, unless you were a super, super writer and you went ahead and finished your story. All right. And finally, the end of the story. I wrote, I wrote last, I took a picture of a pretty tree um, and went home. So that was what I wrote. And then when you look closely at the illustration, I already added some labels, like that was the tree. Here's my camera, there's me. And as a good reader, I mean, sorry, as a good writer, I'm gonna think about what things can I add to my illustration to make it even better. All right, Kempster, so for today, that is gonna be your job. When this video is over, I want you to stop and get your story from yesterday. And if you didn't start a story or you finished that story, you can start a new story. Because the more we write, the stronger we come at become um, as writers. So go ahead and add even more details to your illustration. As usual, Kipsters, send that picture to your teacher so maybe I can shout you out too. Have a wonderful day. Good job, Kipsters.